Welcome to another MyTrack Trainings video. We are going to look at tables and how they interact with formulas and quote operations. I've created a few tables here. I've created a couple lookup table types first, which is laser jet, laser jet water jet, shear. Lookup tables is where I actually create the tables for a specific type of table. For example, laser. I've created two. I have an aluminum table and a stainless table. Each returns speed and feed rates based on the thickness of material and each table type determines the type of material, be it stainless or aluminum. Now to make use of these tables to make your quotes consistent and more user friendly, you actually come and go to an operation formula. An operation formulas is where we set up our formula to use the table. I have a few formulas here. Setup minutes, system mass, enter, setup time. It results in minutes. We have minutes per part formula where you could have the system ask you to enter the minutes per part. But then you could get more detailed which would be like a forming formula, bending formula, which actually asks you the number of bends, seconds per bend, some default values, and in the formula <coughs> you create, you would actually put in the mathematical expression to make this formula result in minutes per part. In this example we have run v1 times run v2 divided by 60, which run v1 is number of bends, times seconds per band divided by 60 is actually a formula which results in minutes per part. You can actually change the names of the variables and use those to be more descriptive in the formula. We'll have other videos describing creating formulas in more detail. Now a laser table formula to use the tables that I previously created we create two variables one is cutting inches and the other one is thickness where you would enter the thickness you would select the table type and the default table I created some default values also so the default lookup table is where you just pick your most common material in this example in my example I'm using stainless so once you have your table the expression is really cutting inches divided by the result in the lookup table after you enter your thickness to return a speed and feed rate which would result in minutes per part so let's actually go to the operation maintenance real quick under the operation maintenance where you describe all your different operations you would come in select your operation and select your formula setup and your run formula so now let's just quickly add it to a quote. I'm on the quote screen. I go create an operate add an operation. I'm picking laser. System's doing exactly what it was asked to do. Enter your setup time, 30 minutes. Next, I'm going to enter my cut length, my cutting inches. So in this example, it's a 125 inch is of cutting. This I have to do with this part on the laser. As you see my thickness is 0.125 with a laser stainless it returns 750 inches per minute which resulted in 0.16667 minutes per part but we could change this change our thickness to 0.25 and you see the expression changes also we could come in the system and change the type of table we want to use aluminum or stainless and you could change the type as you see the value change everything changes just like in a spreadsheet the tables aren't the simplest thing to set up but after you set one or two up they just repeat the same concepts over and over that's how you use tables with formulas if you have any questions please look at the other videos for more information regarding this